There is a place in Tierra Estella, at the foot of Monte Jura, and on the banks of the Ega River, called Señorío de Arintano, a land where everything seems to be in place to achieve a common goal, excellence in the production of wine. Man's intervention in these 600 hectares resembles that of a sculptor transforming rock into art with a chisel. The two families responsible are Chivite and Moneo, both distinguished surnames. Since the Chivite family bought the Dominion in 1988, it has undergone a maturing process similar to that of a fine wine. And when it's wine we're talking about, time is always an honored associate. The first historical record of Señorío de Arintano goes back to the year 1158. According to documents of the time, that same year Gonzalo de Azagra and his wife, María López, donated half of Santa María de Arintano's monastery to the village of Irache. A reference is made about the bridge over the river Ega, still standing today, in documents from 1545. And so it was until 1714 when the existence of a flour mill by the river is mentioned. Many centuries of history, like that of the Chivite family, dedicated to the production of wine since 1647. It has taken the last generation, almost 20 years, to transform Señorío de Arintro into what it has become today. Several geological studies guarantee the quality of the land. The local Atlantic climate allows the grapes to ripen slowly. Tempranillo, Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Chardonnay. Factors like the inclination, orientation, height, geology, depth, or the composition of the ground produces differences within the same tract of land. Every season, each plot achieves a wine faithful to the ground where it is located and the natural conditions where it is produced. The analogist's spirit is present in every detail. The analogical tradition of the Chivite family is based on the idea of working with the wine from the land, from its origin, to pamper it throughout the whole process. For this reason, in 1998, the family contacted the Adena Organization for the Defense of Nature. And this is how the project for the nature conservation of Señorío de Arintano started. Adena carried out a strict inventory of the flora and fauna, which was the basis required to set up a management and sustainable production system unique in the Spanish wine sector. The best example? These ponds filter all the water that circulates throughout the Dominion using a complex system of communicating vessels and seaweed, working as a natural purifier. The Señorío de Arintano's winery was designed by the Navarran architect Rafael Moneo and was officially opened in 2002 by their majesties the King and Queen of Spain, Juan Carlos and Sofia. From start to finish, the architect worked side by side with the enologist. They shared the same goal, that the winery would become part of the landscape. In 1988, Rafael Moneo started to design what 14 years later became, in his own words, a landscaped winery. Previous rehabilitation work was necessary. The 11th century tower of Cabo de Almeria Palace. A neoclassical 19th century church. An 18th century country house framed a picture that Moneo could not ignore. This is why the winery embraces these three original buildings.
The winery is an example of bioclimatical construction that makes the most of the elements and natural resources. It provides optimal working conditions in all phases of the process of wine production and aging. The work begins with the arrival of the grapes to the selection table, which is done by hand. Later, and after a gravity press, the grape juice starts the transformation into something much more complex, wine. The fermentation of alcohol takes place in stainless steel vats. Then a second fermentation called malolactic takes place in the singular building, whose walls, lined with copper wires, control the temperature in the fermentation process. This process is carried out in new French oaken barrels. The wine, once finished, goes on to the barrel room, unique in its kind with a high footbridge built entirely out of wood. It is here that the French oak coddles the wine until the moment comes for transferring it to the bottle. Once bottled, the wine waits until its time has come in the cementerio, an impressive room that maintains a constant temperature without the need of refrigeration because it is built underground. Everything is geared toward enhancing the senses. Sight is the first to bring about awareness. Light, symmetries, it's as if you are touching space. You can't hear anything. It's like a noise without noise, stillness with the sense of smell, wood, grapes, fermentation, maceration. And in the wine tasting room, the five senses invoke the spirit of Bacchus. For now, the Chavite family can boast of having achieved a standard of excellence from beginning to end. Just like a fine wine that lingers besides its ally, time, for its moment to come, this breed of men dedicated to the vine have followed the project through to its completion and maturation. This is the base upon which quality is both the present and the future of Señorío de Arintano.